Got some equipment here to do some little bit of urban spelunking for this wonderful building here. going so we should be good and I'm not gonna get myself into any crazy stuff but I do need these we'll see how that works out this is what I do for a living not all the time but part of my job got my essentials in a ziploc bag in case something falls in the water on this wonderful December day we're gonna head in there but we're gonna take the uh, the long route to get down there and hopefully I can find a spot where I can climb up in there and check out the underside of the building. So need to determine if there's any issues with the structure. But in any case, I don't think there are any major ones. But at the same time, I've got folks that want me to assure that there isn't. So it's nice and sunny today, a balmy 36 degrees. And heading in. Okay, it looks like there's a sandbar here I can get into and then get up into that little stepped up area. That's what I'm gonna do with these boots. <laughs> I thought I had a set of wellies, I don't know where they went. But uh, let's get in there and check it out. Alright, there she is. Oh, there's an old lolly column right there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Pretty deep. Not too deep though. You see this is stuff that's washed out from the creek. And it does get pretty deep over there, doesn't it? Son of a gun. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it over there or not. That's going to be interesting. And I'll probably have to make my way around there and onto there. Check it out. Yep. Nothing too crazy, but as you can tell here, I'm trying to work my way around. Let's get out of this bulkhead. <clears throat> nope. Get my hand around the top of it. Work my fat butt around. Should be interesting. And there we go. We have to get our lights on. I got a couple of these guys here. Whoop. For backups, on the backups. All right, let's take a look around here. Should be interesting. That's a stairway from the uh, service part of the grocery store down into, if you can see it, down into the basement area. So there's been a lot of graffiti up there, as you can see, some pretty uh, interesting stuff going on. And there's all this stuff that's been exposed. You know, there's insulation board, but over time it's got a crisscross of steel i beams that are in here, so I gotta take a look at that stuff. Got some lila columns up there, so yeah, let's go uh, let's go take a look down the uh, tunnel as well. Gotta do that too. So you can see there's a little bit of a crack there. It is a vertical crack. I'm not too to worry about and there's tons of advice here that we're getting so yep always good to get some advice anyways I'm gonna take a look around here and uh, keep going lovely bunch of water damage 
on the floor deck up there. This is all poured concrete here. Oosh. Steel columns here. Abandon all ye who enter here. Let's take a look. We're into the building right now. We've got some daylight here. You don't see it because there it is. In daylight. So we've got a catch basin. <laughs> a decent amount of distance up there. It's probably a good 12 feet to that catch basin. in here from past or storms and it, uh, that's what happens all these cobbles so now we're coming out in the daylight again I mean it's just beautiful work look at this this artwork here and you can see some of the old stone work over here so we're gonna come out And here we are, the other side of Castle Creek. I'm not a big fan of that right there, I'll tell you. That has not done so well. And there is a house on top of me right there in the corner here. And there's another one behind me here. But, I mean, you can see that's the creek. Runs all the way up through there. Used to be a mill pond way up there. And, uh, there's some minor erosion here, but nothing too bad. And, this, and the wall itself is bowed a little bit, probably from street loading and years of poor drainage. But other than that, that wall's not in bad shape, just because it's got drain holes in it. Okay? There's some weep holes in it, which is good. But now we need to go back this way and uh, complete the journey. a pipe and there's the wash down in here from who knows where upstream somebody's piece of conduit there is now you can see here look if you can look very carefully this whole bottom of this is lined with stone or brick I don't know if you can see that or not and all this here is built up over time there's a big old clay. It's probably about a 30 inch diameter clay tile there. But yeah, this is, this is like the original base of the tunnel. Obviously, this is the newer section. This is the edge of the street. Here it comes into my client's property. There's a plaque with the use for form work. Back in the loop. A little soft. But that work is just excellent, I gotta say. That's a beautiful old Mason's work there. It's an error in the form work. They stepped it out, but nothing, not a big deal. See some of these old tie rods, they're still around.
There we go. Here's daylight again. Glad I came here on a day that hadn't rained much. Okay, there you go. <laughs> we walked under the property, a building, which is up here. And this parking lot. And Castle Street, and I'll show you that as we drive back through, and I'll show you what I walked under. And, uh, pretty interesting stuff. Gotta say, there's all sorts of hidden things under this town and every town that you might not realize is there. But it's kind of cool to be able to come up here and look at all this stuff and Hopefully I'm not going to fall in the creek. I am not going to fall in the creek when I get out of here. Although I do have to change from my meeting. I really don't want to get wet. I decided to climb up this way. I just don't want to go through the creek. See on the top side. For me right here. There we go. All right, let's check it out. What looks like a uh, top side. So it's kind of cordoned off, but I can get in there. I don't know what this guy's doing, but we're gonna we're gonna park right here. By the barricades. And we're gonna get out and deal with it. Okay, so we're topside right now. Probably telephone tech. You can see over there there's a gate, there's a railing there. That is the uh, Castle Street. That's a, the creek in the Castle Street area here. Let me take a look real quick. As I can walk. There was an old DI here that got rid of it. There's a DI there. That's the one that kind of runs. You saw that plastic pipe shoot at an angle. That blue one, the green one. That's that. Right there is the old wall of the of the creek. And right here is about the edge of the edge of that stone arch that you saw here around the sidewalk right in this area here. So then we're gonna walk over here. This is the project I'm working on, an adaptive reuse project. We're looking at doing some apartments on the second level. And of course the question came up, wait a minute, you're gonna put apartments, build another floor? Isn't the creek run under this thing? Yeah, it does. Part of it does. And of course, Gonna walk you over here. There's that DI. Way down in there. That's the drain you saw with the daylight coming out of it. So it runs under this store and then runs out the back of the building. So that's what we've got right now. We've got goes over there goes to there and then shoots off that way it makes a big turn right about where the telephone pole is and then shoots off to the creek on that side so yeah pretty crazy uh pretty good shape considering its age been on there for about 60 plus years 1960s that was done i believe when this building was expanded so Go figure, pretty interesting. So, gotta get back to the office, get ready with some of my findings, and then meet with the clients and what we're doing here. So, that's uh, some of the jobs I do. I know we had a, I had a uh, video where I went to a job site, and this is another video where I'm going to a job site. This is stuff I, I do as an architect. There you go, go figure. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Happy, safe, and uh, 
healthy RVing, but today I'm just doing my architecture gig. Take care, folks.